after a long, cloudy, rainy winter, I finally have the sun. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's video. What in the world is going on here? Well, a lot of you, this is laundry. For most of you, you've probably never seen anything quite like this. But for me, it's laundry time. It's cold, but as you can see, we don't have any clouds. And for me, that means laundry. I am embarrassed to tell you that I have not done any laundry in about a week. And that's pretty bad. I will be honest with you, wintertime, my laundry is not something that is fun. And my clothes do not get the cleanest in wintertime because I cannot use these machines because of the way the water situation is. It's really hard to explain, but I'm sure everybody who lives in an older home has some issues and, well, they learned how to work around it. For me, it's the same way. And so, this is my laundry system. Now, it is still cold and considered, well, it'd be considered spring now, but it is cold, but I can get all of my laundry done now because I hooked up all of my hoses. Now, most of you would think this is a lot of work, but believe it or not, this is a lot easier to handle than laundry in the house. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hang up the wash and work on it. And then I'll talk to you a little bit at the end of this video. This video is more gonna be a visual video for all of you, just to watch and see how I accomplish. I can accomplish a lot in a little bit of time with both these machines going. All right, everyone, I'm going to narrate this part of it so it's easier for you to understand. I have all of my wash sorted, and I have two different washing machines. The one that you see in the video right here is one that a friend to me, she lives right near me, saw that it was thrown away. It works great, but it does not have no wringer part of it. So I have to wring those clothes out by hand. And the other portable washing machine I was given a couple years ago now, I think it's almost two years ago, by a lovely couple who watch my videos and also live close to me who have become lifelong friends. The first thing I like to do is, as I get one load finished, I hang it up right away. When you have such cold temperatures, you have to get your wash out on the line really quickly. That way it dries before sunset. Because once it's sunset, then it'll go back to being damp again. So I'm working on that. Because it is above freezing temperatures, I do have water hoses now. That means I can take the water source right to my washing machines, and I don't have to lug around heavy pieces of equipment and buckets. As you see, they're all attached to solar power units, and those are the panels that are beside the shed, and also panels that are on the roof. All of my laundry is 100% off the grid. So I do all of my laundry off grid. It takes a little bit of time to get everything assembled, but once it is, it's easy to do. Yes, the water is extremely cold. It's just above freezing. But and when you hurry and get the job done, it doesn't take long for your hands to warm up nicely. Are you feeling quite cold yet watching my video? It is very cold. I'm gonna speed up this part of the video so you don't have to spend so much time watching it and then I'll show you what we work on next. everyone so I am just taking a little break from being outside I was out about an hour and I estimate the laundry will be done in another two hours I had a lot of laundry and so I'm warming up a little bit today now and I'm working on making some meals for this week and I'm making my pineapple meatballs which I've done so many videos of them but if you want the recipe it's in the description box
You have to look. So when I make a video, what you see is just a little part of the video. There's written words underneath my video, all kinds of links, all kinds of descriptions, recipes, all kinds of more information. So that way my videos are a full tutorial. So what kind of person are you? Are you a morning person or a night person? Well, I can tell you, I love the mornings. As soon as I wake up is when I get the most of my work done. I get up and I know exactly what I need to do for the day. And I usually try to get all of my work done by 3 PM. After 3 PM, I don't have hardly any energy. So most of the times when you see a video of mine, you're seeing me in the morning, first thing in the morning. I very rarely do night videos or evening videos simply because I don't really do too much after three o'clock and then I go to bed really early. I need lots of sleep. I get about 10 hours of sleep every day and it is, I sleep amazing and I'm so thankful for that. All right, so we got the meatballs finished and now I'm going to just wait a few moments and then I'm gonna go back outside and go through another load of laundry. My kitchen is a power laundry, I'm not kidding you. I never let it get this bad, but it's been cloudy, been rainy, been cold. I didn't feel like doing the laundry and it really got bad. And so today I just put everything outside and got it all ready outside. It's so much easier for me. All right, so I got some earmuffs here. We're gonna use these from now on when I'm outside. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. So I'm going to go outside and let's see how much laundry I have to do. All right. So this makes a huge difference. Having my earmuffs on. Hang in the washout. See you guys.